Hello guys! In this lesson, we're going to talk about an overview of the Commerce Manager. Let's get started! Commerce Manager is a platform where admins and page owners manage their catalog and sales on Facebook and Instagram as well. After you set up a shop on your Facebook page, you should start managing your shop, add items to your catalog, and add collections to your shop. Once you attract potential customers who are sending messages inquiring about the products in your shop, you can get insights and learn about your customers and what items are popular in your shop. All these activities need the use of the Commerce Manager platform. If your business is qualified to have a checkout on Facebook, you can use Commerce Manager to view payouts, fulfill your customers' orders, and process returns if there are any. Type in the Commerce Manager URL to go to your Commerce Manager. You can view all the Facebook pages where you have set up a shop. Click View More to see all the shops in your Commerce Manager. You may notice that each Facebook shop has an ID assigned to it. Below, you can view all the catalogs that you have created. You can add catalogs, manage lists, and delete catalogs, or search for catalogs. Take note that you can select one catalog to connect to your Facebook shop. You may have catalogs that are not linked to a Facebook shop. You can still edit this catalog, but you cannot switch to a different catalog at a later time. You can click on a catalog and view the page linked to it and manage your inventory. Now choose a shop and you will be redirected to the commerce section of that Facebook shop. The overview shows you the commerce account has been approved. If a shop on your page is not approved, it will show the warning sign that your shop can't be published. You can appeal and request for another review. You can also view the suggested actions for your shop such as enhance your catalog to review what needs to be updated, keep your feed up to date to make changes to your data feed, and get started with dynamic ads to promote your items to more audiences using Facebook ads. Next, you can view the number of items in this catalog and manage items. You can also view the insides of your Facebook shop. In this section, you can view a summary of the number of messages sent, product page views, visitors, top items by messages sent for the last 28 days, then manage your sales channels. Under Catalog, you can view all the items added in your catalog, filter by activated, deactivated, or all items. Under Attributes, you can view the inventory that is in stock, view all brand new items, filter by brand, category, and price. Under Sets, you can view all the collections that you have created, view the items inside the collection, sales channels, and shops. You can even view the issues that you must fix and the opportunities as recommended actions for the items in your shop. Under Data Sources, you can view the details of the updates that you have done on your catalog's inventory. Under Events, you can set up tracking to run retargeted ads. You can track interactions with products, track whether the products that people interact with are eligible to run in retargeted ads, and also troubleshoot or fix issues with content ID mismatches. You need to set up tracking and install Facebook Pixel. You will need this for running ads. Under Shop, you can view the shop that is linked to the items inside the catalog. Under Ads, you can start creating ads to get started with traffic ads where you can run ads with at least 4 items in your catalog. Under Insights, you can see the performance of your shop, showing the number of visitors, product page views, the number of messages sent, and sessions with messages sent. You can view the top products by a message sent and the number of products pages too. Under Performance, you can view detailed insights such as actions by session and it shows the percentage with product page views, add to wish list, and messages sent. All actions shows the number of product page views, adds to the wish list, and the number of messages sent. You can view the range of dates for these metrics. Under Discovery, you can learn where your visitors found the items in your shop. This data will help you determine the locations on Facebook that are effective to attract potential buyers' attention. You can use this data to start running ads effectively. Under Product Tagged Content, you can view the metrics for the content where you have tagged your products. Under Catalog, you'll be able to view the list of products in your shop's catalog. Also, you can view the category, collections where the item is added, product page views, and messages sent. Under Audience, you can view the audience insights for your shop's inventory once there are at least 100 people in this audience. If you don't see any metrics for your audience, you can grow your audience by creating dynamic ads to show your items to more people on Facebook. Under Settings, you can view the commerce account info such as the account name, email account status, the checkout method, and the default language and country. 
Under Catalog, you can view the catalog name and ID. You can also edit image cropping for carousel and collection ads and also single ads. You can choose from the options to fill the ad with an image, fit the image to the ad, or crop and resize the image to fit the ad. You may also select the notifications that you want to receive about your catalog. As a seller, you need Commerce Manager to effectively sell to your customers on Facebook. Now that you know about an overview of the Commerce Manager, we can now proceed to the next chapter, Facebook Sales Marketing Strategies. I'll see you there. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and go to technicforce.com for more tools and training.